All right, I'm a new Twitch streamer, so I thought I should take a look at this video from uh, Penguin Z Zero, aka Moist Critical, about the saddest Twitch stream ever. That I seem to be late to the party, but I kind of wanted to check this out because, uh, you know, as a new streamer myself, I want to see how bad a Twitch stream can actually get. So anyway, let's check out the saddest Twitch stream ever. When it comes to sad, pathetic things on the internet, I feel like I've seen it all. I'm like the Oracle from the Matrix. Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> I love his voice. Today, I bore witness to something so tragically embarrassing on Twitch that it's making me reflect, and it's put me in a very somber state. Okay. I feel as though I'm at a funeral service. A streamer invited one of her mods to hang out with her in real life, and then did a stream that was an hour and 25 minutes of agonizing, miserable, inhumane torture. Waterboarding would have felt more pleasant for this mod, I Jeez. Imagine. She spends the entire stream basically just insulting him. He is the butt of every one of her jokes, and she kind of just reduces him to a spittoon for her and her chat to spit in and make fun of. My god, now, it must be really I bad. I think punching bags get treated with more respect than this guy did, and it only got worse the longer the stream went on. She had a donation goal where if the stream gave her $500, she would kiss him. Sorry, one more shot, one more shot. Jesus if Christ. If you want to get drunk really fast, just have to kiss till you'll be fucked up by the time the night's over. Yeah, that, that is like really, sorry, I paused him. Wow, I, I'm just speechless. He's like, is this, he's taking that? Like what? He's actually just taking that? I don't understand what's happening. That is soul crushingly mean spirited. That is downright diabolical. Saying, if you want to get drunk, just try and kiss Dilly. You'll be fucked up by the Yeah, that's the ridiculous. Night. Saying that you have to be hammered to want to kiss this guy. And this is the attitude for the entire stream. So she makes it pretty clear that she can't really stand to be around him unless she is extraordinarily drunk. So the whole time she is drinking throughout the stream, they reach the donation goal. So now she's obligated to give him a little smooch. Okay. Oh, come on. Can you come closer? Okay, it's not that bad. Yes. Okay, okay, whenever you're ready. Can you pucker up? What? Pucker up. This is my, I have small lips. <laughs> you just snotted on me. You just snotted on me. This is like really cringy, man. <laughs> Those snots went on my leg. They did? Yes. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, come on. Okay, okay. Jesus. Okay, first of all, uh, my ears got f destroyed. Come on, though. It's not that bad. She's just kissing the dude because she, uh, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, she made a promise if she reached like $500, I guess, to, you know, give a kiss to the guy. So, like, she has to go through with it. But at least she went through with it. But Jesus Christ, it's not that bad. I mean, come on. He looks embarrassed. If I was watching a hostage video where someone had kidnapped my grandmother, threatening to slit her throat unless I paid the, the ransom, I would honestly find that video to be less cruel and more humane than this Twitch stream I just watched. This yeah, is really. absolutely brutal. My heart <laughs> breaks for this guy. I don't know who he is. I don't know what he's done to deserve this, but this is like a divine punishment here. This whole thing was her idea. This was her donation. Incentive, oh, it was? And now she's acting like it was the worst thing that ever happened to her. It's yeah, so what bad. the hell? She's got to go rinse her mouth out. She's got to fucking brush her teeth and scrub it all down with soap and bleach just to try and erase the stain that his lips put up. Jesus hers. Christ. It's just evil. This whole stream is her basically just bullying this guy. Well... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Boy. Why is he sneezing so much? Are you okay? I'm good. Okay. I'm back, guys. Sorry. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. She's putting on this big song and dance about how gross and disgusting this was when it was her idea. She's doing this just to make him feel even worse and put on a show for her chat at this guy's expense. Like, oh, this yeah, right. loveless I mean... loser virgin flew all the way here and, oh, I just had to kiss him. Like, that's so <laughs> mean. 
<laughs> and it this is. should be a wake up call to her chat that like donates money to her under this idea that she's going to like them or something like that or parasocially donating to her because they think that they're going to be friends or even more than that. This should be the biggest wake-up call. Your third eye should be fucking beaming from your forehead right now with this out there. This is her mod, someone who literally, like, does a ton for oh, her. Oh, really? And this is how he's getting treated in front of everybody. Wait, so, okay, let me let me get this right. So, she, okay, so he's her mod, I guess, Twitch mod. And she, it was her idea to bring him on the show. So he's on the show and I guess he likes her a lot, like as a, you know, professional, professionally, but it was her idea to bring him on her show. And she's just like, like Charlie's saying, he, she's just degrading him in front of, I don't know, like probably thousands of people. I don't know how many people are watching, but Jesus Christ, that's ridiculous. That's what she thinks of you as well. Now, like I said, it's not just this viral moment here. So I gotta pause again. Is he just like not, is he like not aware? Or is does he just not care? Or is he okay with this? Because if he's okay with this, I think there's something wrong. Like there, you should not be okay with somebody that you work for just slamming, slamming you on the, on, in front of, on live, on a live stream in front of other people. It's just the most, it's embarrassing. Here. The very beginning of the stream comes out fucking guns blazing going hog wild about this guy having no shot with her and that she doesn't even really respect him at all. Hey. Oh yeah, Dilly's living the dream. Aren't you so happy to be here? Yeah. What the fuck? Wait, okay. She's like, oh, he's Dilly. Oh, I guess his name's Dilly. Dilly's living the dream. He's He must be so happy to be here with me. Oh, that's great. Yeah, are you having fun? You say you're having fun. Yeah, I've been posting pictures of Dilly every single day on Discord, and this guy cannot hang. <laughs> Dilly's what? eyes are fucked. <laughs> it's because I have cats and he's allergic, and he has allergy medicine. <laughs> Doesn't he look like Gru from... <laughs> Wait, oh, oh my god. First of all, she's now she's making fun of him physically, appear a physical appearance. Calling him Gru, I guess. But what? That's so fucking mean. Okay. So I understand why he's sniffing now. It's because she has freaking cats in her house and he's there, uh, voluntarily there, I guess. Um, and she's like, uh, before she was like, well, you sneezed on my leg, how gross. It's like, you, lady, you you fucking have cats that he's allerg allergic to in your house. And that's why he's sneezing. Sorry, every time I see Dilly, I just start laughing. This is the very beginning of the stream. This is chapter one. It's not even chapter one. This is the prologue. And she immediately comes out of the gate saying that he looks like Gru from Despicable Me and she can't help but laugh when she sees him. The stream yeah, doesn't my thoughts exactly. five full minutes without her making sure to insult him in front of everybody. He's just getting publicly flogged exactly. immediately. She is flaying him alive throughout most of the stream. Again, this whole hour and 25 minutes is basically just make fun of Dilly. And let it's an hour oh my god it's an hour and 25 minutes long of her just destroying this guy and being mean to him on camera in front of thousands of people that's horrible how is he okay with this i don't understand the chat make fun of dilly too it's so mean-spirited and this guy again i don't know anything about him he wasn't even creepy or weird or awkward. He seemed like just a very normal guy. He exactly. Seems yeah, he seems like a cool guy. Uh, I forget his name, but uh, Dilly, I guess. Yeah, he seems like really cool. Like I would hang out with him. He seems really nice and cool guy. So it's just really sad. Exactly how the title is the saddest Twitch stream ever. This really is sad that he's just able to be okay with her doing that to him. And she, he, he does so. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming he does so much for her as a mod and she just kind of just fucking really insults him like this is actual insulting uh, him on I, I just this is just crazy I'm like speechless it's pretty nice and really not weird yes he does come across as like a little lonely and a little socially shy but there's yeah no but I mean like everybody's like that or anything alarming about this I'm fucking I'm I'm pretty much like introverted too I mean he just seems like an introverted guy like which is like me as, as well like a lot of people are introverted I think most 
Twitch streamers and YouTubers are introverted, uh, myself included. Um, and I think Dilly's just a bit introverted, which is nothing's wrong with that. This guy at all. This must have been hell on earth for him to not only get invited out by the person that he clearly cares about since he mods for her, but to go there and then just be perpetually insulted directly by that person. Apparently not, though. Apparently it's not hell on earth because he seems to be okay, which is really fucking weird if you ask me. And the community that you mod for having all these tomatoes thrown at you throughout the whole thing. And on top of all of that, be surrounded by cats which trigger his allergies. The misery must have been indescribable. Like, I'm getting parasocial with it because I actually just really do feel bad for him. Here. Yeah. Like, brother, come on. Have some more self-respect. Have some more confidence. You deserve it. You deserve better than this treatment here. That was just so mean. Now, I already know the cope. I know what the excuse is going to be. Oh, she's clearly just pushing his buttons. They're just joshing around. They're very close friends, obviously. But I don't get that impression Yeah, I don't get that either. All. These aren't jokes I would tell to even my best friend, Matt. Who I've Sorry. known since middle school. A lot of what she says to and about Dilly is just him downright nasty. First. I would never say to Matt, like, the only reason, you know, your wife ever kissed you is because she must have been blackout drunk and forgot what you looked like or something. That's just so fucked up. And, like, she makes statements like that pretty often throughout this stream. These aren't really jokes. She is just insulting this guy as much as possible to make him a laughing stock for her stream. Cute. Yeah, the like i could tell if it was like a gag like a joke then that would be pretty obvious and easy to tell but this is actual just insultation i don't know if that's a word but <laughs> this is actually just her insulting him on camera and yeah it's just it's not it's not it's not fake like this is real like actual insult this is actual like bullying and it's just horrible a couple maybe you're not dating i did not claim okay, let me hold on let me rewind real quick Take five seconds back so we can start for her stream. Cute couple, maybe you're not dating. I do not claim this. Yo. Sorry, that's so mean, but I'm don't claim it. So yeah, one hour stream, so every minute counts. I made a donation goal, five hundred dollars. I will kiss Dilly. So we hit it, we hit it. But hopefully, I will be drunk for that. Let's take the first shot of the night, yeah. Jesus Christ, man, that's really painful. Like, wait, let me just check his reaction real quick. So we hit it, we hit it. But hopefully. I will be drunk for that. Let's take the first shot of the night, yeah? Is it too early? Uh, yeah, that... She's like, oh, hopefully I'll be drunk for that. Because, like, it's it's such an awful... It's a horrible thing. Oh, my God. I'd rather die than kiss this guy. It's so fucking horrible. I have to be drunk. I have to be slap face drunk to do this. It's terrible. It's mean. Cheers. The way she responded to the cute couple statement seemed like she was genuinely offended anyone would even say something like yeah, that. Now, exactly. Keep in mind, she's still sober right here. So this is still her insulting him with the training wheels on. She hasn't even taken the gloves off yet. It gets really bad. Oh my god, after. it gets I made It gets worse? Are you kidding me? It's already it's already fucking horrible. How does it get worse? boys go at dilly to help change his pants so i think dilly threw away his chunky throat pants in the trash dilly had the same size hands no, oh my god. god you have baby hands no way yeah we have the same size hands that means you have small dick the oh my god like what I th <laughs> she just she just told all of her like fans and viewers that he has a small dick on camera because he has small hands like that's Man, talk about, talk about fucking depressing. That's horrible. This is awful. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, if I if I had if I had mods, uh, I'm not a big Twitch streamer yet, but if I had mods someday, I would never ever be insulting to them ever. That's just that's just not okay. Astute observers out there will have noticed that I put the stream to two times speed during her story times. And I didn't notice that. Admit to it. The reason is because it was genuinely painful listening to her tell those stories because it's just shitting on Dilly. She's putting him on blast as frequently as possible, sharing his most embarrassing moments. So giving his low lights. Here's the Man. worst of moments with Dilly. Here's what Dilly did that was so embarrassing last night. You guys need to hear this. It's just, again, so unnecessarily mean. And then, of course, she has to do something about penis size. So she says, we have yeah. the same size hands, which means you have a tiny dick. 
your hands aren't even the same size. His hands are visibly bigger than yours, but they again, are just being rude for the sake of it. They are oh, actually yeah. bigger. Hold on, look at this. I didn't notice that before. She's she's raising her hand like a little bit above, like this. Okay, if it was down like this, it would be smaller. Size hands. Look oh at that. God. Look at that. Her her hand is like not even aligned. You have baby hands. Yeah, shut the f shut up. Yeah, we have the same. Fantasy. <laughs> this does not strike me as two people that are friends. This strikes me yeah. as her using him for content as a punching bag. Yeah, exactly. That's what this all. Seems she's like. literally just. No friend. She's. She's literally just using him for clout. It's sad and depressing and degrading all at the same time. It's it's sad. And dynamic is like this. No friendship goes like this. Of course, you're going to joke around with your friends. You're going to get mean with your friends. But at the end of the day, you're close. And you know that there's no actual bad blood or malicious intent there. I do not get that vibe from this interaction at all. Because it is unrelenting for an hour and 25 minutes. And what I'm about to show you here, I think, is the most foul Thing oh, there's more throughout it. Oh my god, so either go back with my ex or get with Tilly for six months. Fuck. Okay, so in case you guys know, or don't okay, wait. Gone. So there's truth or drink, get back with Dale or get back, get with Dilly for six months. So I'm assuming Dale is her uh ex boyfriend, I guess. So okay, let's see what she yeah, says. I don't want to say his name out loud. This I'm back up. Ex or get with for six months. I'm back up with the Fuck. ex. Okay, okay. okay. So in case you guys know or don't know, uh, this, I don't want to say his name out loud. This ex fucking traumatized me. Get a gambling addiction, drug addiction, addiction. Like he actually fucked me up. Okay. So either go to like trauma and emotional abuse or date Dilly for six months. Okay, so let me get this straight. So she, her, the question is, would she rather date this really nice guy for six months, or get back with Dale, her abusive, apparently abusive and traumatizing ex boyfriend? Trying to get back with my ex. Okay. Next question. Is it true that you're it's in two times speed because again she was going on a montage of degrading him and then it got to that question would you rather get back with your ex who apparently traumatized her or date dilly for six months and she chooses her ex and then just laughs what she would she what she chose are you kidding me this that is like horrible that's that is horrible that is like the worst thing in the video so far she would rather be with an abusive, traumatizing ex-boyfriend than being with this nice guy for six months. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I don't understand. What is her problem? Rather be in, I guess, this emotionally abusive situation that she called it and be traumatized than be with Dilly for six months. Why would you even answer this question in the first place? That is so fucked up, I was stunned. When yeah, that came around. I'm stunned too. Like, she knows Dilly is clearly interested in her romantically, and yet she uses that as the butt of the jokes. Like, half of the stream is making it clear that she feels she is so out of his league, so superior to him, that the comedy is that people would even suggest there's a chance. So this question rolls around, and she's like, oh yeah, I'd definitely just go back with the ex. I definitely wouldn't go back or go with Dilly for six months. I'd rather be emotionally abused this yeah. time with this guy in front of his face. Too. Is there more? The guy who okay, there is more. Basically Holy. Does oh God, there's a lot more. You on your streams by modding, who has also now gone out of his way to hang out with you in real life and on your stream for your content. Exactly. And now he has to sit there and hear that you would rather be emotionally abused and traumatized than date him for six months. This guy who obviously cares about you. Yeah. I can't even imagine what a statement like that must feel like to hear. And he has to keep himself composed because she's broadcasting all of this to her audience publicly. I guess so. He's, he's either keeping himself composed or he just really is okay with that. Like, if he's okay with that, I think there's something wrong. Like, there's some issue. Or something with him not with him like exactly i said that wrong there's some issue like there there's some issue there I, like i i've never met anyone that i've had any kind of relationship with a friend or even an acquaintance that has said something that even teeters on as mean as what she just did right there and she did it right to the face of someone who very clearly cares a lot about her now she yeah. like, laughs it off and moves on to the next question and i think Dilly has been brainwashed by her into thinking that he's a good friend of hers. But Dilly, I'm just going to hit you with the cold water. Friends don't treat each other this way. She is treating you like a subhuman pile of garbage. Yeah, exactly. This is not... 
Dilly, uh, Dilly, you might think that she's your friend, but she is not your friend. This, she is an enemy, okay? She is your enemy. This is not what a friend would do, okay? It's, she is treating you exactly what Charlie says. Ex exactly what he says. She's treating you like a piece of shit. You're not, she, she's a piece of shit, okay? Seriously, I would not hit. So, yeah, there is a right or wrong answer. You would not, okay. Well, me personally. Okay, wait. Rate mod from one to ten, and if you would smash this, who who are making these who who is making these questions? Is it her or some other mod? Who who is making these? This is ridiculous. Rate mod one. For, okay, let's see what she rates. How about you rate me first? Ten out of ten. Oh. Okay, ten oh, out of ten. I'm gonna rate. I'm just gonna drink. So he's nice. It's, it's okay. Wait, what? If what do you say? How about you rate me first? Ten out of ten. Oh, you know, I'm gonna rate. I'm just gonna drink. Maybe he's on the six. It's okay. Okay, so he thinks he's a six. Oh, well, he's, he's really modest and humble. Dude, he even. Okay, he, sorry, I paused again. But he even puts her on a pedestal. She, he says she's a 10 out of 10. And then he says, and he brings himself down. He says he is a six out of 10. What a guy. Hey, what was this? Oh, I said that out loud. Oh. Again, it's just an absolute flurry of. Wait, what was that last question? What was there was one more. Again, it's oh my god, it went by too fast, bro. If it was, oh, I said that out loud. Anyways, have y'all had a dream about each? Okay, weird. Again, it's just an absolute flurry of disrespect from her towards Dilly. But I wanted to show this clip here at the end because I think this is a great summation of how this whole experience okay. went where he rates her a 10 out of 10 and then she refuses to rate him so he yeah. playfully is like oh okay that must mean like i'm a six and then she didn't have to say anything she could have just moved on to the next question but she went out of her way to let him know that no. that's not the case so she says if it was a six i would have said it out loud uh, anyway just trying to take another little oh step, my God. drive the dagger deep inside of his heart here to let God. him know that he is beneath her. He that really, that really hurts. That hurts me, man, to the core. That's, that's just terrible. Yeah, she could have just moved on. That's just not necessary. Okay. It's like, it's like saying like, he's saying, oh, you're a 10. And that may, that must make me a six. And then she's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so fucking dumb. He's not a six to her, and he needs to know it. It's so unnecessarily mean. It's just being an asshole and nothing more. She puts him down every chance she can find. She attacks every single one of his perceived weaknesses in her eyes and is doing everything in her power to publicly humiliate and yeah. degrade him. It is not friendly. There is nothing jovial about this whole stream at all. It is mean-spirited and just really fucking sad. Like I mentioned, there was a couple of times she tried to cushion the blows like, Oh, we're such good friends. This is all okay. And then when one of the questions during Truth or Drink is, What was your favorite thing about Dilly? She says that he's nice and that mm -hmm. he's like just super nice and not awkward. Those are the only couple of instances where she wasn't just shitting on him and i think she did that because she could see from the chat that people were dogpiling onto dilly and it is just a really uncomfortable stream in okay so she could actually see like the chat the chat okay so the chat is not being nice either apparently and she must have noticed that and, <laughs> and then whatever like ounce eeny teeny weeny ounce of like good that's left in her she just says like a few words like through the whole hour and a half long stream she just says a couple words that are nice to him. like oh he's nice that's it that's fucking it are you fucking kidding me entirely how likely is it for him to pick up a girl tonight this honestly? honestly you're not getting shit <laughs> I think maybe a girl be down to dance with you, you know, That's a win. but there's no way. I don't think you're getting any girl's numbers. Honestly, you're not getting shit. That's what she says. Or going home with, I, I'm gonna say it's a zero out of ten. Well, obviously I wouldn't bring anyone back here. 
but... I would let you. I'm a good friend. So if you want to bring his girl back here, you, you can. Wow. But I'm just being honest, I don't see it. Prove me wrong, though. You don't prove me wrong. I was per perfectly content to not show you any more clips from the stream. I was just about to end the video, but then I remembered this moment, and I just had to showcase it. Even if it's not directly about her, she won't even let him think he has a chance with any girl for that yeah. matter. None. Like, he's not even allowed to go into the club with a good mindset. They're they're going to a club later this evening, and they, they were getting hype for it. Like, chat was asking, hey, do you think he has a chance with a girl? And this was her response to it. He's not even allowed to have a good mentality going into it because she's already shitting on him beforehand to bring his self-esteem down. It's just bullying <laughs> like she is yeah. just a bully to this guy it's literally <laughs> literally just bullying for content that's all she's doing she's bullying this poor guy poor nice guy for clout on twitch and probably in youtube and this is you know unfortunately this that her stream has probably been cut up cut up a bunch and made into shorts and put all over the place tiktoks twitch and twitch and youtube instagram reels and just you know he's she basically made a mockery of him on fucking four platforms because <laughs> that's just man just doesn't end he's not allowed to breathe for a second a because of the allergies that he's subjected to but B, yeah because she is constantly this miasma of hate to him yes he he literally i forgot about the allergies he literally physically cannot breathe and he mentally cannot breathe because of her and her cats like he it's just so negative if this was actually any semblance of a friend she would have lifted him up like yeah you're gonna get some pussy tonight let's go you know let's have a good time out there tonight that's not what yeah she's she would have been a she's wingman immediately putting him down again yeah she would have been a wingman if she was a true friend not a debbie downer for the millionth time this stream who is better looking dilly or your ex my ex um next question whoa that she 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 did not hesitate at all man what a wow wow that is bad that is bad do you have do you ever have any feelings for any of your mods including him hell no that's why they're my mods last clip from okay whoa 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 she just like not only him but her other mods she basically just insulted all of them saying that oh they're just they're just scum they're just the scum of the earth that I don't, you know, I don't deal with. They're just not worth my time. Is basically what she's saying. Like they're just, they're just fucking mods. They don't matter. It's so ridiculous. That's like, that's like saying if you're at an actual company and you're the CEO, say, oh my employees, yeah, they don't matter. They don't. I don't give a shit about them. They're just, they're just grunts. They just work for me. They don't need to be. They're not human. Okay. They don't have any human emotions. In this stream, I promise. But I thought this was an important one. I have for a long time preached about how awful parasocial relationships are and how prevalent it is in streaming. I think hearing her say this should have snapped a ton of people out of that mentality that just by donating to somebody or modding for somebody in this case that all of a sudden they're going to somehow develop feelings for you or something. Doesn't happen. It won't happen. And that is not a healthy mindset for yeah. you as a viewer to be in. Exactly. I wanted to put this here because she just says it with her whole chest right in front of Dilly. Again, per usual here for this stream. But it is, this is actually an important lesson to learn. Just because you mod for somebody or donate to somebody, if you're a tier three sub to somebody, if you've been subbed to somebody for years, they are not all of a sudden your best friend and they are not obligated to fall in love with you or have feelings for you. So tough pill to swallow for some, I'm sure, but it needs, it needs to get through. Now, all that being said, what Dilly was subjected to here is nothing shy of heinous. Yeah. Nobody deserves this level of public humiliation, and I feel extremely bad for him, and I'm just genuinely wishing him the best going forward. I just had to talk about this because it is one of the downright meanest and saddest streams I've ever seen on Twitch. Like, probably ever, I think. That is really so, yeah, fucking that's sad. That's really about it. So, yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's really sad, and I I don't I'm like speechless. Wait, is he is he still working for her? Hold on, I gotta look this up. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Apparently he still works for her. Okay, that's ridiculous. Uh, for one, I he should immediately stop working for her. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's just man. 
I can't believe what just what I just watched. Like I'm speechless. Like as a new Twitch streamer, I I mean this is horrible. I can't believe that this is like allowed, and it's just literally like l real time bullying live stream. I just feel so bad for him. Also, I looked up an interview that actually uh, Charlie and uh, Dilly had separately. There was a video on it, and um, even during that whole interview, Dilly is basically still in denial. Like he just. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong, but he just keeps he just keeps saying that oh no 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 she's we're actually good friends. We're actually okay. We're good friends. But no, dude. Dude, that is denial. Dude, she is not your friend. You really need to stop hanging out with her and work and work for her. Just my opinion, but please, man. For my sake and your sake, please stop working for her. Yeah, I mean, if I if I had Twitch mods, or if I was a mod, if I was a mod for a Twitch streamer, I would expect to be to have the same level of respect that I would give to that Twitch streamer, and vice versa. And if I if I have Twitch mods uh, sometime in the future, maybe there's no fucking way I would ever be that disgraceful and degrading and insulting to them. I would treat them like my dear friends or employees. And th there would be a level of respect there, okay? That's very—it's just unacceptable what she did. Anyway, I just thought I—I just felt like I had to watch that because, you know, I'm a new Twitch streamer, and I just wanted to—I just couldn't believe the title when I saw it. Like, and I saw the thumbnail, I just couldn't believe it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you next time. Bye.